everybody, it's Purple Sims Ori Dolly. Today I'm here, and I know you guys are excited because I'm excited too. The very first part of the Garcia family. This is gonna be part one. So let's go ahead and dive in. So currently it's a sunny day, it's 2 p.m. And it's pretty hot outside, okay? We're on day one of 14 of summer, yes. I have my seasons on long because, like, it just makes more sense to me. So right now, um, Mara and Lorenzo are just chatting on the couch, spending some time together. Okay, so it looks like uh, Lorenzo getting to sentiment his mother. And it's closer from happy memories. Oh, how cute. We love a mama's boy, don't we? He's gonna gossip with his mom. And Mara's like, oh my god, yeah. Let the neighborhood gossip. <laughs> but we're gonna go i wanted to have lorenzo and mara travel somewhere separately to kind of have their own separate conversation and truly talk oh <laughs> they said what's the tea talia is still shook after hearing that particularly juicy bit of gossip from lorenzo this is like the least expected thing. Like, who would think that Lorenzo and like his mother are gossiping? Lorenzo just doesn't seem like the types of gossip, but it says it's always fun to learn some new secrets from around the town. Um, is it safe to say that Talia likes gossip? I, th I think she does like gossip because all the older Latina, Hispanic older women, you know, the abuelas and stuff, they be telling, spreading all the families business out to their country talking on the phone at least that's how my mom is like something happened down here everybody in dominican republic is gonna know i think she would i think it would be safe to say that talia likes gossip <laughs> talia toxic bitch but okay so <laughs> these two are gonna have their own separate outing and travel to somewhere i haven't um updated any of the lots in the world or added any of my own lots from the gallery and i probably will but just because everything is new i kind of want to just utilize and and go explore it before anything has changed so i want him to travel with Mara and we're gonna try to find just like a secluded place so they can kind of have a conversation about having kids and stuff and they already kind of had that conversation so it's not gonna be too major but definitely maybe tonight they'll go on a little date and kind of get themselves in the mood you know I don't know do something to get the mood and the vibes for um making babies Um, I don't know what area would be the best. Maybe down here near the library. I know the movie theater is right there. So I'm like, there's got to be something like a cool little cute area they can sit out down there. So we're going to see. Okay, so we're here at the library. And let me tell you guys, this library was built by one of my favorite creators, Deligracy. Like, Deligracy was the first sims youtuber well it was live simmer but then she quit but i would say like it was the first youtuber um that kind of inspired me just because she's so she's just been so consistent and so good and i just love like watching her play and stuff so i've been watching her for a few years and this is the little library she built very pretty and we have a little kids area and everything in the upstairs area library is colorful and fun okay i'm just gonna have them come down here and walk maybe they're just like taking a little hike together and they wanted to come look at the view look at this little subway station thing this looks so cool imagine if we could actually use it like if they would walk up to it and like walk down the stairs or something all right so they're down here and they're just at the bay side i'm imagining they probably just finished a jog or something so i had them change their little their outfits to an active wear and be like oh wow that was a good hike mara's gonna flirt with him a little bit and be like yeah i love seeing you in those clothes you look real handsome Lorenzo's not gonna put the pressure on it, so I feel like maybe Mara would bring it up. She's gonna be like, oh, I'm not used to this separated UI, you guys. I'm like, oh, she. All right, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a... Wait, isn't deep thoughts, shouldn't deep conversation be in here? Stories? Okay, I'm just gonna have them discuss interests, and she's gonna be like you know we've talked about it multiple times and i know you know that i'm kind of nervous but i think that i'm ready to to try and and have a kid 
Um, I'm ready to try for a baby. And I feel like I'm ready to take this next step. This neighborhood is beautiful. We've been living here for a few months. And I think Lorenzo is just head over heels. So happy to hear this. He's probably definitely going to give her a, a nice squeeze, a hug, and get to compliment her appearance. Um, be like, you look beautiful. Okay, so let's just, what is this? Shush shamer. The person behind Marcus won't stop talking through the best movie scenes. Should he shush them or try to ignore the noise? Why are we getting a notification from Mara's dad when he's not one of our family members? I'm like, Sims glitches, period. All right, Um. so anyways, so I wanted the, her to give him a, a kiss. Um, I don't know what tab that would be under. Well, okay, hold up. This relationship isn't right. I don't know why the relationship is so low. Let's go ahead and fix that with the magic of cheats. All right, so I've given them a relationship that's more uh, realistic for our situation here. Let me just ask about romantic interest. And they're just going to have a nice romantic time at the pier, but then he's going to be like, okay, well, um, I'm really happy and I'm so proud of you for feeling okay so lorenzo has learned mara's romantic orientation i'm still exploring right now trying to figure stuff out mara by question mark he's basically just gonna be like thank you so much and i you know you've grown so much and there's no pressure and we can do this together i know you may still be nervous but we got this um i was wondering if you want to go watch a movie mateo mateo i'm gonna need you to take your hot dog suit and slippers and go somewhere else okay anyways i guess it'll be a technically first kiss but he's gonna give her a kiss not with not with the hot dog though okay i guess with the hot dog i guess with the hot dog <laughs> he's giving her that kiss and maybe they can just become best friends too oh cute so now they're gonna travel and oh wait now they're gonna go to the movies he's gonna say we got this, honey. I'm very proud of your growth, and I would, don't even worry about it. I'm gonna take care of you. He's gonna ask her to go to the cinema. We'll just say deep conversation, and I'm gonna change their fits to something a little more just casual, but like cinema vibes. So I guess I'll put her in this, and then I'll put uh, Lorenzo in this, and listen. Mateo, I really need you to leave. I know that this movie theater is just a rabbit hole, but guess what? I'm gonna take advantage of this rabbit hole because it's a good rabbit hole, okay? I'd rather have the rabbit holes than nothing, right? Like, at least we don't have to download a mod that gives us the option to turn a building into a movie. It's like, you know, it's better that it's in the game. So, okay, so should we watch Moonlight Massacre? Watch Princess Cordelia, Cordelia's Pirates. Okay, I feel like they should watch a romantic movie. Maybe it'll get them in the vibe. And they're gonna head in the theater and watch this together. Look at this dog. This dog, his name is Blue. You guys, should we get an animal or should we wait? <laughs> should we get a dog or something? Like, should we get... I feel like I need a big dog. I feel like all my animals are always small. I mean, we love Toki. Um, Toki is the dog that's in my other LP, Harmon Legacy. We love Toki, but I feel like I need like a big, girthy, juicy dog that will just give us all the love and will rough house with us. All right, so these two are in and they're watching their movie. Hopefully, they're going to have a great experience. Uh, Lorenzo is feeling a deep connection from socialization and he discovered thyself from discovering personality trait okay through life experiences lorenzo discovered something new okay wait hold on we got something else going on there's so much going on so it says what's happening after getting back from a bathroom break the sim in front of lorenzo turns to ask what they just missed should he bring them up to speed or ignore them bitch i mean fill them in like there's no reason to be temporarily banned from theater I didn't even know you could get banned from the theater. Can you not lean over and like help somebody out and talk to them? This makes no sense. Lorenzo begins to go over what has been happening when one of the movie theater staff members walk by. Thinking that Lorenzo is disrupting the other patrons, Lorenzo gets expelled from the theater. How unfair. 
And I was just trying to be nice because if it was me in real life and I feel like Lorenzo would also, you know, like just be nice and be like, yeah, like this bitch just died. Um, This other girl, like, I don't know, she wooed with somebody like I would have just filled them in. And look, he has a little, uh, oh my god, what's it called? A mood lit. Why am I, like, forgetting stuff? Rigid romance uh, from disliking movie. Did the actors even like each other? With absolutely no chemistry, the movie fell flat. Bitch. He said those are bad actors. Okay, so he wants to mentor a child. Oh, that's so cute. Click on a sim working on a skill or homework. You guys, he just wants to, like, help children learn. Like, we love Lorenzo. And then he says he wants to be friendly with Mara's dad. So we can have them get close or whatever. And she's still watching the movie. Like, no, I feel like she would walk out with Lorenzo. She wouldn't just stay there. All right, these two are going to go home. These two are going to be like, how unfair. I'm sorry, there's like a fly. Mara's probably like, how, like, unfair. These are some Karens running the movie. Like, never going back to this movie again. Oh, my gosh. Did I just catch paranormal activity, like, live? Because my door just opened on its own. Anyways, my house is haunted. We're back. I can't believe that... We got kicked out the movie. I did not know that the movie theater had that many interactions. And we're probably going to come over to um, Talia and we're going to tell her a story. We're just going to tell her a funny story and be like, you would not believe what just happened. And describe the story to her because I can't believe that. And then we're going to have Mara use the restroom. And it looks like she cooked up something on the grill, some fruit. But if you're hungry, grilled fruit is probably not enough. So I'm probably going to have uh, Talia just cook something i'll put this in the fridge we're gonna have mara pee lorenzo's back home he's like mom you would not believe somebody left the theater to use the restroom and i tried describing the story to them and a worker literally came and kicked us out like what okay new family dynamic we have our dynamic this is so fun i'm having so much fun all right cue the punchline lorenzo and talia just can't stop cracking each other up it's always a hoot when these two are in the same room. Family members with the jokesters family dynamic will choose to perform funny interactions with each other and they'll feel extra playful when spending time together. Would you describe the family dynamic between Lorenzo and Talia as being jokesters? I feel like they would be jokesters, sure. Why not, you guys? We're going with the flow. So Lorenzo's gonna use the bathroom too. I think everybody's kind of getting hungry except for Talia. So she's gonna come here and, and she's gonna cook something up. I wanna see if there's anything that's appetizing in Granny's recipes. Meals. All right, let's see. Let's have her cook. And this soup looks really good. I'm a soup girl, you guys. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but soup is my number one food. You know, if I had to eat just one thing for the rest of my life, it would probably be sushi and soup. Because those are just my favorites. What can I say? All right. I think Mara's going to come over to... What does Mara have to do for her job? Oh, we still haven't checked on the gig. And then Lorenzo has to grade some homework in his portfolio. So we're going to come here and grade homework he's upstairs using the bathroom and maybe mara will come here and attempt to join the cooking can we do this join cooking there's not really counter space though huh we need more counter space let's see if she can join is she like bossing her around <laughs> she's like yeah make sure that you pull out the vegetables and talia's like Sweetie, you don't need to tell me um, how to cook. I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but everybody's getting hungry, so they're probably cranky too. It's been a rough night, huh? Um, I wonder where Lorenzo's going. Okay, is he going to go outside to edit? Period. I love just, it's fun just to go outside, just to do normal things you would do inside. Why not get some you know some fresh quality air and okay now with the update we can see the icon for what skill they're bringing up and i'm pretty sure he's bringing up the knowledge skill okay so she is starving so where is this soup where did you put the soup she might have put it in the fridge she ate all it up she ate all of it huh no way where did you put the soup guys oh <laughs> she put it on the table i was about to be like r.i.p it got corn 
the the veggies like this is what i'm talking about okay so talia we're gonna call to meal she's gonna be like lorenzo come out here come come inside and eat lorenzo's gonna be like mom i'm grading papers and then talia's probably gonna talk to mara and be like oh my god my son he's always up in the papers always worrying about the kids Mara's just like, yeah, man, I admire that about them. She's, she's like, what? what's this I heard about? Oh, they, not the moving the same. She's going to be like, what's this I heard about um, Lorenzo getting kicked out the movies? She's like, you would not believe it. It's just too funny. I mean, I just didn't think that they took it that serious to kick us out. A lot of people these days, everybody gets offended so easily. <laughs> But yeah, these these girls are just chit chatting. Lorenzo, I know you're hungry. When does he have work? In eight hours. Ooh, bitch. You work tomorrow, so maybe you need to finish grading those books actually. And then he'll grab a serving afterwards. It's gonna be a little bit of a a late night for Lorenzo, but I think Mara's gonna wait for him. Uh, Mara, you know, she doesn't mind being a little night owl, but you know Talia, she probably needs she probably needs her beauty res. She's gonna have an early night. She's gonna be like, remember, if you wanna stay young, you wanna stay looking vibrant, you're gonna need to go to bed no later than one. The Sims times just goes by so fast. I would imagine she'd be home by she'd be asleep by at least then. So after she eats, she's gonna go to bed. She's like, okay, good night, sweetie. You know, make sure Lorenzo eats. You know him. So we're going to put that in there for her. And and I guess we're going to have her wash this. And while Lorenzo is doing his grading, I'm going to have uh, Mara actually come here. And let's look for a gig. Let's go ahead and look for whatever pays the most. Because, I mean, <laughs> that's how life is. We're going to do... which. The one should we do? Not three hundred. I'm gonna need. A, I'm gonna need to get a thousands range. Um, two thousand. Okay, so this one looks like the one with the most payout. So we need to chat with the clients. And oh, I need to buy her her sketch pad. Okay, so she's gonna chat with the clients, and we're just gonna wait for Lorenzo to be done grading his papers because. We have got to do that for his next promotion, level six. And I'm gonna get back with you guys after these two are done with their work. Okay, so it is 1.19 a.m. It's a little late, not too much time has gone by. Mara's just chatting with her client. We need to have this uh, startup logo. So Cecilia Valley startup logo. So I guess she's designing a logo for somebody. We need to have that turned in by Wednesday. And Lorenzo, Lorenzo's so cute. Not him coming over here to keep her company while he's eating. He's gonna talk about marriage, be like, you know, I'm so glad that um, you let my mom come here and everything. And she's going to be like, yeah, well, I mean, let's hold off on telling your mom that we're going to start trying for kids because, you know, she's going to ask a lot of questions and he's going to be like, okay, sure, whatever you need, babe, but just let me know because, you know, Lorenzo's probably dying to tell his mom. I know he's excited for this and these two are just chatting and he's going to finish his soup. All right, he's all done. So I think after he's done with the soup, he's going to try to make his move and try and, uh start this train going you guys we gotta start the fam we gotta start up the fam so these two are gonna be kissing and do romantic he's gonna be like so do you wanna head up to the bedroom uh, i'm gonna take a shower do you wanna join me and they're gonna try for a baby in the shower he's gonna be like okay well i'm kind of sweaty from being outside do you want to get in that shower with me and Mario's gonna be like you know you know what sure let's do it period all right you guys it's getting steamy are we trying for the first garcia family baby ain't no way it's a good thing that talia sleeps downstairs because that would be kind of awkward if she heard anything oh my god i'm so excited i hope she gets pregnant i know a lot of people have been having twins in their ops i don't know how i would feel about having twins to be honest i think i'd rather just have one kid because i'm like can we just focus on one at a time but 
I mean, I guess double the trouble, it would make it more fun, but I just kind of want to go for the one baby, but let's see what happens, you know, it's kind of a thing going on, and these two are just woohooing it up, oh my god. Before they go to sleep, I'm gonna have Mara go ahead and take her pregnancy uh -huh. test, um, and we're gonna see if she's eating for two, yes, eating for two, congratulations, Mara's expecting. Yay, that's so amazing. And she's going to come out and tell Lorenzo. She's going to be like, sweetie, um, it worked. First try. Like, I'm pregnant. So exciting. Lorenzo's like, what? No way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I feel like Lorenzo would totally give her a kiss and embrace her. We're going to kiss her, um, give her a hug and be like, oh, my God. Oh my god, my wife is pregnant. We're gonna have our first baby. I'm so excited. But we gotta go to sleep because it's almost 4 in the morning and Lorenzo works at 8 a.m. Oh my god. She's pregnant. Oh my god. And um, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I don't want to be dishonest. I went to MCC. I wanted to see what she was pregnant with. <laughs> I just discovered something. <sighs> I'm not gonna give anything away or any signs, but um, I'm processing for sure. All right, so these two are gonna head to bed, and I was thinking maybe we can have like them like a little gender reveal party or something instead. Next part, we'll do like a little gender reveal and see um, how that goes instead of doing a baby shower. Oh, Lorenzo has work in an hour. Okay, he's gonna get up. Um, yes, we're going to work. Lorenzo's gonna get up. He's like, oh my god, last night was such a late night. And I think Lorenzo is just on cloud nine today. He is the happiest man on earth because he's like, my wife is pregnant. Like, this is all I've wanted for so long. I did not realize that Lorenzo's back was also hairy. But maybe we should just embrace it. Lorenzo's a hairy man, okay? Um... <laughs> that is crazy he's he must be so excited so he's gonna go to work he works in 36 minutes okay so we're gonna go downstairs and wait he needs to take like a little nap or something as long as he can i guess he'll come downstairs and nap on the couch while he's waiting he's like let me just sleep a few extra winks before i leave oh we gotta go to work beach we can't be late all right he's going to work he's got Somebody needs to give me an answer as to what is actually going on in The Sims. Because in what world does this portray that he's about to go teach? Um, I mean, do your thing, Lorenzo. He looks confident. He looks ready for the day. You know, maybe he's just trying something new. But this is... I don't know. I don't know if this is giving. <laughs> Dahlia's up this morning, and I feel like... Mara, um, she's kind of processing right now, but she's gonna sleep in. Dalia's probably gonna serve some breakfast and she's gonna make some eggs and toast. And she's just gonna make that so that way, um, whenever Mara wakes up, she'll have something and obviously something for her because she's probably hungry. Oh, her stomach? Her hunger hasn't been going down that much. So Dalia's just doing, um, she likes to cook, as you guys can see, and maybe she'll also brew a pot of some tea. You guys, my favorite tea is chamomile. It just tastes the best to me, but I haven't had many teas. You guys let me know in the comments if you guys are into tea. So I'm going to have Mara wake up, and I feel like the first thing, I mean, she is processing that she's pregnant she has morning sickness from pregnancy mara woke up feeling violently ill as if something was pushing her insides all around and i'm surprised her stomach didn't start to grow already because in the sims usually they look like two like a month pregnant two months pregnant um <laughs> as soon as they take the test but she's looking in the mirror she's like oh my gosh girl like wait are you actually gonna be a mother are you actually pregnant and i think she is happy but you know, the nerves are there. We're going to have to have Lorenzo, you know, try to calm her down a little bit. But she has morning sickness. Oh, my God. Yeah. Not the signs already starting. Okay, she's going to take a bubble bath, try and calm herself down. She's just feeling nauseous. I think that's why she's kind of sad right now. And she's probably missing Lorenzo. You know, when you're not feeling good and you just want that one person to be with you. 
um that's probably what she is just thinking about right now and she's like i wonder you know if maybe he'll just magically end up coming home early oh and lorenzo's getting a text i heard you became friends with mara garcia garcia she's pretty cool Yes, of course, Gabriella. You literally know Mara. Oh my God, everybody's gonna freak out, you guys. Gabriella's gonna freak out. Dahlia's gonna lose her shit. Her panties are gonna fly off when she figures out that Mara's pregnant. This is crazy. It's crazy because Mara, um, you know, it took her a while to work up to this, to feeling ready, and she feels ready now. But she's, you know, the jitters are still there. But she's feeling happy now. She's feeling playful from her bath. And I, I'm, I think the morning sickness has finally calmed down. She's going to calm down. And Dalia's probably going to be like, hey, um, there's some breakfast on the counter if you want it. I feel like Dalia would be able to tell, like, she's pregnant probably before even Lorenzo gets the chance. She's going to get out the bath and pick up some breakfast and have a little convo with Dalia. All right, so we are walking downstairs. She's gonna grab a serving, be like, good morning. How did you sleep? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I need to learn how to cook. Can you please teach me? We're gonna discuss interest. I know Mara is like just thinking in her mind, like I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, but she doesn't want to tell him, like Lorenzo's mom without him being there. Um, but they're just gonna have a conversation and um she's gonna chat and be like yeah i got i signed up for my gig so i gotta work on that and daddy is just like yeah i'm about to go uh, plant some new flowers in the yard and like that's nice just that awkward talk where it's like you don't really know what to talk about it looks like she wants to chat with michelle so that's cool they want to talk with mara's parents more we should probably invite them over but you guys i think this is a good place to end the next part next part we'll do a gender reveal party and we're obviously gonna tell everybody that mara's pregnant and i am so shook because i had to know the gender to do the party and um you know i'm just gonna reveal the next part you guys so i know but you guys don't let me know anything that you guys would like to see next. Uh, thank you so much for all the love on Instagram. If you guys want to support me in any other way, you can follow the channel, turn on the notification bells. Let's see where this LP goes. You guys have an amazing day. Thank you for watching. Bye.